Hey, what is up, YouTube? WWE Fan 5.5 back here, and today we are back with February's custom figure review. And as you can see, it is this Alistair Black. We need to get the Rollins and the Ambrose out of the way. Don't know why they're even still there. But I put the STS title on this one because this is probably going to be the next attire that I use. I'm not positive though. Uh, let me take the jacket off real quick. The jacket, I didn't paint or anything. The jacket, I mean, it looks fire with just the black spiky jacket anyway. So, I'll take the belt off. So, at this leg is messed up, which is really freaking sad, but you can see that there's like some white chipping on the back. I painted the knee pad white. Could have just swapped that out. Could have swapped out the boot for Seth Rollins boot. But I painted it and it actually looks really nice. Let me get the Seth Rollins to compare it to. I, I got the Rollins to compare it to. And as you can see like the Rollins lining is a little uh, skinnier. Like it's a lot skinnier. But... I still really like the like detail on this boot. Everything is fine besides this leg. Like you can see, it, I can't push it back. It's pushed a little bit forwards, so I don't know what that is. But you can see the boot, and then so this boot's not painted. This boot and knee pad is. And then on the back, you have the logo, which I'll get the other uh, Alistair Black to compare it to. Okay, so like I said, here's the logo, and then here's the logo on this one. I think considering this logo is hand-painted, I think it's really clean, and yeah, this Alistair Black just looks really good. And I'm going to put the white intercontinental title on it just so it like ties in with the white and that stuff. So. If he was the intercontinental champion, that'd be really cool. Who knows? He could be intercontinental champion and STS champion. But. Like, look at that. That just looks super freaking cool. And I really like that. I would put a white elbow pad on them. But they are really hard to find. And I don't really want to pay $10 for a uh, CM Punk basic just for the elbow pad. I don't know. I might in the future. But for now, this is the Aleister Black. Uh, didn't add any wrist tape. And I still got the closed fist on there. Uh, the wrist gauntlets, these are from the Rey Mysterio Elite 69 on this Aleister Black. Then I put a blue basic Rey Mysterio wrist gauntlets onto that Rey Mysterio. And then I got another Elite 69 with a head swap. So, I don't know. I might take... I might get more wrist gauntlets in the future and take them off of figures, but, or I might just paint it, paint them on in like the near future, but for now, like, I don't know. It looks alright to me, so, like, it doesn't look bad at all. It, the white attire seems really, seems really clean and fresh. The, I didn't mess up anything. Uh, found this one at Walmart before Christmas, or no, I think this is the one I got for Christmas, and then this is the one I got with, like, back in January, I want to say it was end of January, like January 20th or something, and I never got, well, I gotten around to finishing it, but it was always finished for, like, 10 to 15 days, and then... 
I had to, I wanted to see all, all three of them at once because I had this and two other guys work in progress. So, yeah, that's what I did. And now that they're all done and sealed, you guys will see the one of them you already seen. And then the other one, the waist is messed up. So, I don't know. I might try, like, loosening up the waist. Like, it... It can't move at all. Like, you see how this moves like this? It can't move at all. And that's on a Jeff Hardy. Which, if you go on my Instagram, you can see a picture of, like, a work in progress of it. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please smash that like button in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, 545 Army.